Yeah, I mean, I, it's been it's been fascinating, I have to say, because, mm-hmm. and one of the things that uh, this is quite a deal, but I was in the energy business at a time when the American energy industry was um, uh, deregulating, supposedly deregulating, right? And and the big utilities were being split up, and it was sort of breaking into a highly regulated business and trying to let small. I was working with small power producers. So for the first time, you know, other people were going to be able to provide the power in these, um, this very important public service. The charter schools were very similar. I was going to say. Yes. And, interesting. and yeah. so, you know, I feel like what I actually can contribute at this point is, one, I have this perspective about this is a, this is a deregulating essential public service. Demonopolizing, if you will, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. breaking the monopoly. Mm-hmm. So I have that sort of energy industry perspective. I was a school board member. We didn't we didn't have any charters at the time, but I I get how it works. I get what the pressures are, how difficult those jobs are, the respect that they're entitled to, that those people are entitled to, um, because of what they represent. Um, and you know, and then I ran a couple of schools including starting one up. So I sort of get how crazy that all is. You know, and now the authorizing side. So I, I feel like I, I bring a lot of different perspectives to this work. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to be able to kind of share those different perspectives. Mm-hmm. One of the things I actually try and tell people who are new to this work is you, you really have to make sure you're consciously thinking about the perspectives of the other stakeholders. If you're an authorizer, don't just think about authorizing. Think about, you know, what the school leader's doing. Think about what the board member's dealing with. Think about what your superintendent's dealing with. Just try and get those different perspectives. Um, Because it's very easy in this very difficult work to get in the bunker. Mm -hmm. um, You can't see anything from the bunker. You can't do anything from the bunker. Right. There I am, back to military, which I don't know what it is because about. Because they are powerful <laughs> metaphors. We all fall into them because they have a lot of meaning. You know, they, they have a, people viscerally get that, yeah. that imagery. So. And, they're, and, well, and they're also, you know, wars are about life and death. And um, uh, education is about life and death yeah. for kids. I mean, it, 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 it really is. is. 